The most important metric by far right now for Tesla is the rate of improvement in miles per critical intervention on Tesla's full self-driving. In this video, Matt Smith is going to take us through some really high-level thoughts that he posted on X. And he manages money on rebellionaire.com, so make sure you follow him on X. And if you need your money managed, check out Matt. He's really good. And so in this post, Matt explains why the rate of improvement in miles per critical intervention on full self-driving is going to help us track when we can expect to start seeing robo-taxis rolling out. He says if Tesla can deliver several 5 to 10x improvements over the coming quarters, they could actually launch FST and Supervise next year as Elon claimed they would and as Elon confirmed on the Q3 earnings call. Matt's post that we're going over was written just before the earnings call, so keep this in mind. But he says launching several 5 to 10 improvements back to back is no small task. So what do we actually know? Elon said recently that getting interventions was actually the limiting factor to FSD improvement. Here's his quote from this year's shareholder meeting. The limiting factor right now is that the amount of miles between interventions is so long that it takes quite a while to figure out which version is better than the other version. If you start getting the thousands of miles between interventions, or 10,000 miles to get an intervention, then it's pretty hard to scale because the average person only drives 10,000 miles in a year. So this is where having a giant fleet is extremely important because we can deploy a new FST model and run it in shadow mode and see how well it performs. And then be able to assess by getting billions of miles very quickly, that's Elon's quote. So if you don't know what shadow mode is, it's basically just Tesla running FSD on every single Tesla vehicle on the road, whether it's running FSD or not. So if you own a Tesla and you don't even have FSD installed, Tesla can run shadow mode. And what will happen is the car will see the world around it and make decisions, but it will not act on those decisions. So Tesla can gather data from every single vehicle on the road without jeopardizing the risk of the driver, without jeopardizing the safety of the driver, I mean. So Matt continues, he says, we know that Tesla is running its newest models in shadow mode, and we know that with this data, Tesla is highly confident V13 is gonna have a 6X improve in miles between necessary interventions. So V13 is supposed to go wide release this month. And we got news this morning that it's actually going to go wide this week. And in my mind, Matt says, it's the most significant signpost we have on whether Tesla can actually deliver robo-taxis in the foreseeable future. If they actually do achieve this level of performance, then getting new interventions will become even more of a struggle, as Elon noted. The question will then turn to whether getting the next 6x improvement will take months or longer. V13 should have a necessary intervention only once every 1,000 miles or so. Another 6X off of B13 would take it to 6,000 miles. That would be like one or two interventions a year based on how much people drive per year. So our lived experience at that level would be that there's almost never a need for interventions. Also, if Tesla can stack two major improvements back to back in just a matter of months, then Elon's timeline that he gave at the 1010 event of unsupervised FSD launching in Texas and California next year would suddenly seem much more credible and achievable. We could be in a scenario where by January, every FSD user experiences first half an incredible improvement and the path to true autonomy appears imminent and obvious. And in that case, it's easy to imagine Tesla going on an absolute tear as everyone bets on the autonomy play. On the other hand, it's very easy to imagine a scenario where V13 doesn't deliver a noticeable improvement or even that it does, the next 6x improvement takes like 12 months to arrive. And in this case, it's easy to imagine the market further discounting Tesla's autonomy efforts and the stock sliding based on increased skepticism. For this reason, Matt pounds home the message that the pace of improvement of miles per critical intervention is the single most important metric for Tesla investors to be monitoring. The next six months may be the most important in Tesla's history. So Matt wrote this post before the Q3 earnings call, as I said, and on that call, Ashik Elaswamy, Tesla's head of autopilot and AI came on and he said that we continue to scale the neural network, the data, the training, the compute. And by Q2 next year, we should cross the average. I assume he's talking about the average level of human driving capability, even in miles per critical intervention collision in that case. So Elon comes on, Right after Ashok says, he's not sad begging. Our internal estimate is Q2 of next year to be safer than a human and to continue with rapid improvements thereafter. A vast majority of humanity has no idea that Teslas could drive themselves. So for something like a Model 3 or Model Y, you don't expect it to be intelligent enough to drive itself. And he says, there's no need to wait for the cyber cab to experience full autonomy. We can achieve it next year 
with our uh, with our existing vehicle land. So just to visualize what we're talking about here in, in terms of why it's so important to be watching this metric, if you keep five or six X in your miles per intervention, eventually your system's gonna be safer than a human driver. And Tesla predict that is going to happen in Q2 of next year. So as I've said, getting V13 towards the end of the week, right? And today, Tesla AI on X announces that just from 12.5.4, to 12.5.6.1, they noticed a 4x increase in miles between necessary interventions compared to 12.5.4. And now we have V13 coming at the end of the week. So as investors, it's becoming like really important to see the numbers after V13. What was the improvement in the rate of uh, miles per intervention? Watching this metric is now more important, in my opinion, than watching vehicle deliveries because Tesla shifted their business and now this is the new metric that we need to watch as investors. And if Tesla FSD is safer than a human driver in Q2 of next year, Tesla's NVIDIA moment is coming and it's coming fast.